we're talking about vaginas, that's embarrassing. Hey everyone, me again, welcome back to Ex Amelia Rex. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my foolproof five step shaving routine that will guarantee you the closest shave you've ever had without any irritation or razor burn and I swear by it. Now I discovered this technique about two years ago and I honestly swear by it. I used to get all kinds of ingrown hair, irritation, razor burn in not very nice places and I kind of almost gave up on shaving altogether because I just thought this is it looks horrible it feels horrible it's such a pain in the bum however when I tried this technique it genuinely changed my shaving life and I've been telling everybody I can tell about this so I thought I'd sit down and make a video and share it with you guys today so let's get started first things first is to exfoliate now I normally exfoliate when I'm going on a big night out or when I'm having a pamper session at home. I never used to exfoliate every day or every time that I shaved. However, exfoliating makes a huge difference to your shave. It just loosens up the hair follicles, gets rid of any dead skin, anything that's gonna be getting in the way of the razor blade and those pesky hairs. What you want is just a gentle scrub that's gonna exfoliate the skin nice and gently, that's not gonna break the bank if you're using it on a regular basis uh, and actually works for you. So you wanna gently exfoliate this skin by rubbing your scrub in circular motions over the area that you're gonna be shaving and then rinse away. Okay, so step number two is kind of like a pre-shave moisturizer. It helps to soften up the hair follicles so they come away a lot easier when you shave. Uh, now you can use anything for this really. Coconut oil is a really good one. I use this one from Friction Free Shaving which has got Manuka honey, shea butter and coconut oil in because I just started to find that using pure coconut oil, A was really messy in the shower and B kind of clogged up my razor a bit too much. So this is a really great in-between kind of product but it just needs something to soften the hair follicles before you start to shave. So you wanna rub this in and leave it on there before we move on to step three. Now step number three sounds like a pretty obvious one, but that is to have a sharp razor blade. Now I will hold my hands up and say that I have been that person who's had a razor in my shower that's starting to go a little rusty and is blunt as a butter knife <laughs> because A, they're really expensive and B, I always forget to buy a new one. So this is why friction-free shaving is your godsend for shaving and razor blades moving forward. I have raved about this service before in many of videos. It's basically, a subscription box for your razor and they send you every month through your door four new razor blades so that means you can use a new razor every single week keep them nice and sharp avoid razor burn and also avoid any nastiness that will be hanging around on your razor if it's been in there for three months or so I think my record was probably about two that's disgusting moving on they're really good quality razors nice and weighty and even if you go for the top end razor blades, they're still gonna be cheaper than the stuff or the plastic rubbish that you find in the supermarkets. I'm a massive convert, I've been using them ever since, um, but it really does make a huge difference to your shave if they're nice and sharp. And I always shave in the direction of hair growth. Now you might think that you have to shave the opposite way to get a really close shave, but if your razor is nice and sharp, this is the best way to do it and it also stops any irritation that you might get from going backwards. Step four is a bit of an odd one. Um, I use witch hazel on a little cotton pad just to go over any areas that I have shaved after shaving. And what it does is it helps to close up pores um, and it also helps to disinfect anything as well because that's where your razor burn is gonna come from is when anything gets in the open pores that shouldn't be there and uh, causes irritation. So a little bit on a cotton wool pad, wipe over the area and you'll find that it just helps close everything up and seal it all after you finish shaving. Now step number five is a post shave moisturize I suppose um, and I've actually got two little tips for this one for different areas so on my legs and my underarms I will just use a normal moisturizer it just helps to calm the skin down after the trauma of the shave but also in your intimate areas a good little tip is to use a roll-on deodorant because also the rubbing of your pants um, is going to be causing irritation for you. So if you just use a really gentle like Dove roll-on deodorant, pop that over the intimate 
areas, the bikini line, um, it's going to stop your pants from rubbing and also causing that redness. And that is a really, really, really good tip um, if you decide to shave down there. Oh, we're talking about vaginas, that's embarrassing. But for my legs and underarms, I use just a normal moisturiser. Again, friction free shaving, do one, Manuka honey, almond milk, and cocoa butter. It smells amazing, it absorbs really quickly, and it actually takes less time than you might think. Hello, dog. So that is it, my top five tips. It may seem like there's a lot of effort there, but once you get into the routine, you have all the products in your bathroom, it makes a world of difference. So try it out, let me know what you think, leave me a comment down below. If you enjoyed watching this, give it a giant thumbs up. And if you're new, click the subscribe button. Come and check out some of my other videos. So hopefully this video helps. I'm hoping to change a lot of lives with this because it's very important if you decide to shave. Of course, you don't have to shave at all. It's up to us how much or how little hair we have. However, if you do decide to shave, give this a go. Let me know how you get on and best of luck. But as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye. So today I'm going to be giving you my top five tips on how to cure a breakout. Now I have been an acne sufferer ever since I was about 13. I've had two rounds of Iraquitaine, which is a really hardcore acne drug and I still get quite a lot of breakouts now.